to that one two hook was nasty by him, a boxer putting t2 on his butt and there it is again that one two is money oh! baby there you go boxer get that working what a knockdown Just put on the pressure right now this is where he's gonna be down there it is i knew it and he's down oh! Oh! And we're back with another UFC 3 video. And this one is on the meta of the striking. And I'm really excited to bring you guys this video because I'm having so much fun in the game right now dealing with the meta. And the meta is just pretty much the cat and mouse. If you do this, then I do that. If you do that, then I do this. This is the meta of the game. So I'm bringing you guys a match where I was facing off against a champion at the time. It's three round fight. And this was just meta from the start. Okay, so you know I don't touch gloves. Came out with the one-two. And I already see from the jump, this guy has the major sway. And I'm like, all right, you know, let's see how he uses it. And then immediately, he stops my one-two with the minor sway and follows that up with a straight. And so right now, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to play this game. So I switched to Southpaw. And I do that for a reason. Because I want to have that lead hand closest to his head because he was leaning to his left. So, see, I connected with that lead hook, you know, and I want to be in his opposite stance. And so we switch again and then he switches back. So this is where the meta is already starting. And then I, he knows I want to hook. So now he he's ducking. He's using the sway ducks. And look. He's throwing everything at me early, the kitchen sink and all of that. So he has to watch his stamina. Now look at me. I switch back to Southpaw, throwing them hooks. I'm not going to give him what he wants. And so he's returning fire of his own, and he switched back. And now I'm back to Orthodox because I want to be in the opposite stance of him. So my lead hand is closest to his head um, or the side that he wants to sway on. So we trade back and forth here. Nothing too crazy. I'm throwing hooks. You know, and that's pretty much that one uppercut to keep people up off of you. And, you know, I'm just I'm just really looking at, like, how he wants to move his head. And look, he switches back to my same stance. I'm like, get get off of me. Um, and so one thing is, OK, he got me in the clinch. I want this to be a stand up battle. So I wait and I get the transition block. So now, once I had his transition block, you know I had grapple advantage. I used my grapple advantage to break. All right, this is something that I've never seen before, and you guys let me know. Um, all right, so he minor sways my jab. I'm following up with an uppercut. He's going to follow up with a counter straight, which evades my uppercut because it turns his minor sway into a major sway. I've never seen that. That was like, whoa. So he was able to sway both of mine based upon him following up with that counter straight. I hadn't seen gameplay dev talk about that. Anybody talk about that, man. That's crazy. You know, so you get extra lean whenever you do that counter straight. I'm like, I got to go revisit it. All right, there again, you know the meta that we playing. All right, let's get into the meat of the patch update. All right, just because he swayed my lead hook, doesn't mean that it slows up my combination because I'm following up with a power hook with the left hand. And so and he's following up with an uppercut after he ducks. It hits at the same time. So you see my power hook connects. His uppercut connects. But look, since it connects at the same time, I was able to win that. And he got and that's the first rock. Now he wants to introduce the back sway. And the back sway is going to be safe against those hooks. You know, so I'm like, uh, you know, only thing I can hit him with with that is the, is the um is the is the straight, you know, and I'm like, let me get my lean on, you know, and that's that boxer special didn't work out that time, and I and you know, look, he's still he's still slipping. Every time you slip, you know, I'm losing stamina, you know. So right now he has me pressured. You know, I'm against the cage, and, you know, he's bringing forth a lot of pressure, and I'm using up my block. And I think that the tuning to the game allows you to use that block a little bit better. And I'm still getting that hook in there because, you see, he still wants to lean left the whole match. And, see, I know that. 
but he's putting in he's using a lot of his stamina right now to take me out and i know that so i'm just trying to remain calm but he is still slipping and ducking some of my punches so i have to be careful we coming up at the end of the round here i don't want to do nothing crazy to give him the round because i felt like i got the round all right now coming into round two I know he wants to lean, so I'm like, let me start out this round by throwing the hook, and that connects, but it didn't hurt as much because I hit him with I hit him with the offhand, and so that's why I switched right now to southpaw, and so look, he used a minor sway back, and that guy hit with the hook. I don't know what you're going to ever use that for, you know, so again, he's still playing that game you know where he wants to be in the same stance as me and i'm looking at his stance and i'm changing to the opposite stance of him every chance that i get you know and i'm primarily throwing hooks here because i know he's sway heavy he wants to get his minor sways off and he wants to get his major sways off so here i was able to switch to the orthodox position opposite position of him because he's in southpaw and you know now you know i'm able to i'm thinking about that left hook lead you know, now, anytime, you know, these are what I call machine gun um, one-twos. Anytime, so, you know, it's too much of a guessing game, and you see we switching back and forth. You know, there was a takedown denial. Tyron Woodley has a 98 in that um, in that uh, takedown defense. So I'm throwing a lot of just one-two, one-two, because he's doing a lot of guessing, and his head movement is getting slower, and I'm like, guess that. You know, so you see that one-two, one-two, they coming out fast. I'm planting my feet. And I'm just going to be doing this one, two, one, two. And these things are going to start to connect and they're going to start, you know, to wear on his head because I, it's getting it's, it's halfway of the fight. It's like, all right, let's start to close this thing in. And based upon the meta that you carried out, let's see if it can have an effect upstairs and win the match. But he's still real dangerous himself, and he's throwing some fast combinations. But see, I'm planting and throwing, and that's why mine are coming out really fast. And I threw a, I threw a hook in there, you know, because I know he still wants to uh, lean. And see, he's gassing out by throwing all these big shots. Now, that's good. That's going to hurt me whenever he throws that that shot to my body now though that's my jab uppercut i really like that when somebody's coming in and he's dealing with it though and he still has me against the cage the whole match and that was a return on his side with the jab uppercut you know so all right there i get my sway on and i sway three punches right there and look i'm i'm getting ready to do it again sway 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 because i want to do something different you know now i got caught a little bit right there whenever i tried that sway 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 and so you know now when he swayed it dad didn't work but out good for him you know so that's what you got to be and because see i was planning you know and and so i'm looking and i'm just hitting one at a time now he's not doing he's a little slower than me so i'm like let me get my sway 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 on and look three shots swayed and look at his stamina now i go to the body this is where the meta of the game is really carrying out and taking place and then the one hook and now it's easy to transition deny or do anything because you see how he slowed down right now so everything is going to be a, a uphill battle for him downhill for me so third round he comes out bombing and, and, you know, I'm just throwing all hooks because he wants to sway. I know he wants to sway. He did not change up his game plan. But it's still effective because, you know, he's guessing some of them right. He's ducking now. You know, so I'm thinking about that uppercut. You know, but he could, but since he likes to sway, if he sways that uppercut, it could be bad news for me. So here, you know, look, I'm looking for that sway, sway, sway um, to see if I can get his stamina drain down. And so... You know, here is coming up, and this is where, like, the turning point of the fight is going to be. He's throwing a huge overhand power shot, and I'm throwing a straight. Look at his stamina and look at mine. I got a little bit more, so I'm a little bit faster. But, see, mine connects first, and look at his stamina. And so because his stamina was so low, them shots don't even hurt, and everything that I'm throwing now is really going to affect him. I was able to hit that shot. And knock him out for the win. So that's the meta of the game. That's why I'm having so much fun. Because you got to think. We're not pressing buttons here. 
I'm looking at what you're doing, and based upon what you're doing, I'm changing my game plan on the fly. You know, so that's what it is right now. And so, you know, I'm like at the bottom of the top 100, just cooling out. And, you know, that was it. If you enjoyed this video, man, um, please subscribe and help your boy out because I work hard on this thing, man. You know, I like doing them and they fun. So please share the video, you know, tweet it out, you know, whatever, man. Just share it for your boy. And if you ever find yourself in that in the top 100 at any point, you know, right now in season two, search for the top 100 club in the communities on PlayStation 4 and you know send a request i'll look you up i'll get you in that thing um and up next man um we have a promotional for esfl we got goat versus uh unibot coming up this week on the esfl gaming on twitch check out the promo we have the quarterfinals of the ps4 championship eight man tournament there'll be eight people four will lose next week there'll be four people two of them will lose and then the week after that there will be a champion as two people go head to head in the finals